The warm water surrounding Florida has made it a popular spot for boats and ships of every size and purpose for thousands of years. Indigenous, merchants, explorers, and pirates. Some have found their fortune here, while others found nothing but peril. The shallow wetlands of the Everglades have not been spared from tragedy. Hundreds, if not thousands of souls have spent their last moments alive in those remote marshes, and there are likely more ghosts wandering those waters than any of the haunted houses in Florida. For generations, the Seminole have told a story about a ghostly ship silently sailing the area now known as 10,000 Islands, trying to get back to the ocean. The story begins on a stormy day in the 1600s with a merchant vessel being chased by a pirate ship. The merchants, in a smaller, more nimble craft, tried to outrun the pirates, traveling down winding channels and ducking around mangroves. But between the weather and the terrain, it took the pirates a long time to overtake the smaller ship, and when the pirate captain boarded the merchant vessel, he was more than agitated. To retaliate for wasting their time, the pirates tied up the crew, including the wife of the merchant captain, and made her watch as they forced every member of the crew to walk the plank. One by one, the sailors plunged into the water and slowly sank to their death, each one weighing more heavily than the last upon the heart of the wife. When her husband disappeared beneath the waves, she fell to her knees, screaming at the sky, cursing the pirates for their sinful deeds and demanding justice for those lost below. It is unknown what became of her, but as the pirates sailed back toward open waters, a great black storm cloud formed. The wind picked up, the waves swelled, and water fell in heavy sheets. The ship was tossed and nearly sunk, but the waters churned and a great wave lifted the vessel, carrying it miles away. Into an area even the Seminoles say is too wild and overgrown, the vessel crashed, shattering the ship and scattering the crew. If anyone survived, they wouldn't have lasted long. They say the curse invoked by the merchant's wife is still plaguing the sinful pirates, and on nights when the wind whips up and the moon is hidden away, the ship continues to sail, searching for open waters.